Today, the Pacers announced the signing of Kyle O'Quinn. You mentioned there were four or five teams in the process with you for free agency. So yeah. what stood out about Indiana and why here? Um, the culture, you know, just um, what you guys built over the last couple of years, you know, taking the hit, losing a star player, you know, and then just letting the young guys grow into the, growing into their own and just how hard these guys play. You know, it's always tough playing here in Indiana. Even when they come up to your hometown, they play tough. They're going to give themselves a chance every night by, you know, grinding it out, and, you know, and, um, you know, never would have thought I would be in Indiana, but you know, when it, when it presented itself, you know, you kind of start opening your eyes, like maybe, maybe that is my fit. And, you know, we start talking, we sat down, we talked about some things, you know, we had a mutual agreement, I mean, mutual respect for it, which, which, what, what I could bring and what they offer. And then I said, all right, let's do it. What do you think you bring? And is it an area that the Pacers could use and needed here? I mean, I'm not here to tell you what the Pacers need, you know, but I know I bring energy, you know, I grind it out with guys, you know, you know, around the pain area, you know, I'm just a teammate, help anybody get it going if I can. And I know, I, I know that's one thing I, I, I kind of pat myself on the back about is just, you know, being a teammate, being somebody on the team that guys can trust, you know, ultimately getting coaches trust, which leads to bigger and better things than yourself. The time period from when you entered the league till now, you've seen the game kind of go through a pretty significant change. Yeah. As a big, has your game evolved as well? I mean, yeah, you shoot a little more jump shots than you. You play less post defense, but, you know, I think, Team defense doesn't change, and you know you just being comfortable with your offensive game. The things you work on in the summer will handle handle that uncomfort that you may have from not being you know closer to the basket or into the paint. But you know when you got five guys out there playing defense, you can stop anybody. You played with a couple of guys that are on this team now, where Doug McDermott's case will be joining. Let's start with Oladipo though. What's it been like to watch him at the beginning of his career and now progress in a way that it has, and now you'll be joining him in that? You know, he just proved all of us right. You know, as far as the guys that were always in his corner, you know, his family, you know, families connect over times and things like that. So when we seen him, you know, just taking those steps, it was just like, we all knew it was gonna happen. You know, when we didn't know, but we all knew, you know, he's kind of one of those kids that, you know, they're just born to be a superstar, you know, he's, with his energy, his attitude, how he treats people. So, you know, good things are always going to come his way. Um, it was just, you know, it was just good for, the, for the, the nation to see how good he was, you know, seeing him at that All-Star game and stuff. But outside of that, you know, just teaming up with him again is pretty, pretty fun. You know, we don't have to text each other as much. We can see each other. Doug signs here, McDermott, and then you sign a couple of days later. What has been your relationship with him as you guys kind of made this jump from New York to Indiana? <laughs> Well, me and Dougie Fresh, you know, we, 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 both, we were both mid-major players, you know, together. So we always somewhat had a respect for each other doing what we did at the lower level, um, mid-major mid level of Division One, you know. And um, um, when I got a chance to play with him, I always heard good things about him, you know, always watched his game because he was just always in the runnings to being the best mid-major player. But when I finally got a chance to play with him, he's, he just another guy that just proves you right. Coach's son, you know, plays the game the right way, treats people with respect, plays hard every time. And... You know, just like any basketball, has his frustrations at times, but simply just talks to somebody and, you know, get it off your chest and then we move on, you know. But um, it was fun, you know, throwing backdoor passes to him, getting him a wide open three just to get him going. You see how much he appreciated. And outside of basketball, he's just a really, really good guy. We'll close with this. And I know it's not an easy question to somebody who just signed here, but what do you sense the potential for this team is once you hit the court in October? I'll have to give you a better answer to that during training camp, you know, because I'm just trying to avoid answering it right now. And then when training camps come, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, wait till the end of the season. All right? Sounds good. Kyle Quinn, right, welcome. Cool.